Why? Just, just somebody tell me why. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Stop the Madness. Today, we're talking about the Netherlands Miss Universe competition. And yes, something unexplainable happened. A male won, a, a trans woman defeated uh, all the competitors, female competitors, and won Miss Netherlands, and now can participate in the next Miss Universe. Unbelievable. Someone tell me why. I mean, take a look at this picture. Now, let's, let's think about why did this happen, okay? Uh, number one, uh, honestly, Miss Netherlands is not, very, is not an attractive trans woman. I mean, he's an ugly dude, in my opinion. And who he beat, I mean, I mean, just look at the picture. It's so ridiculous and it's, un, you know, you can't understand how does this happen. And then another thing, you know, I was thinking, I know the owner of the Miss Universe competition is also a trans female. And I wonder if that has a really, really uh, big impact on the decisions that are made in that competition. I mean, I just don't see how is that even possible? I mean, there's no way you can look at it and and have any kind of confusion. And then, you know, look, look at the little video um, Miss Netherlands uh, post as part of their competition. Hello, universe. My name is Ricky, finalist to represent the Netherlands for Miss Universe 2023. I hope y'all had a wonderful Pride Month. For this Pride Month, Miss Universe asked us to describe ourselves in one word. The word I'm choosing is victory. Because as a little boy, I conquered all the things that came through my path. And look at me now, standing here as a strong, empowering and confident trans woman. Love is love. Be who you want to be. And never forget, always celebrate. And there you have pride. it. As a little boy, he was able to overcome and now is Miss Netherlands. I just don't understand what this agenda is. I don't see why from the athletic scene to now beauty pageants, it makes no sense. I mean, why, why are males competing in the female arena? A beauty pageant is supposed to be for, you know, typically Miss Universe is for quote unquote, the most beautiful women in the world. Um, with all these other qualities, but they have a swim, I, you know, I, I don't want to know if the Miss Netherlands uh, competition had a swimsuit section of the competition. I'm afraid to ask and afraid to find out. Um, it's my understanding those competitions, that's part of, you know, they have a swimsuit and costume and you know, they speak and this, that, and the third. But I mean, I just don't understand where, where is this really going? Like, why? What, what is this huge agenda, you know, to have males that in many cases still all, completely all still biologically male, male parts and all. And it's another, I don't know. I mean, I know Europe is a little bit, you know, more open and free, which is fine. I mean, I don't think that's, that's never been an issue. You can be who you want to be, uh, love who you want to love. That's, I, I, I don't think that's an issue for anyone, but it's the ingraining of, of people, you know, it just doesn't belong. It just, it doesn't mix. It's like oil and water. I just don't understand it. And I haven't seen or heard any kind of explanation that makes sense. Uh, identity versus gender. Um, and, you know, it really feels like we're being force fed the rhetoric 
And to, to push that agenda, you have organizations like the Miss Universe organizations now. And, you know, guess what? When you own what you own, I guess you can make the rules as you go. But, I mean, a female beauty pageant is for is for females. Um, and, and then it, it's like a slap in the face because there's an ugly dude that won. Clearly a dude that, that won. And... I just wonder, I would love to hear, um, and I'm sure you won't, I would love to hear what is the position from the female competitors that lost to this individual. Um, I wonder how long has he trained and, and gone through the rigors of becoming a beauty pageant contestant compared to a lot of these females. Um, I know there are many countries where I mean, it's from a young age and it's serious training and it's serious business and they're high level coaches and it's a big, big deal. You know, I would be curious to see what, what the real open opinion of these real women, um, in my opinion, you know, biologically female, what is their opinion? What is their take? And guess what? I don't think you're going to see any real opinions because they'll be ostracized, they'll be canceled, um, especially if you're competing in the Miss Universe competition, and guess what? The boss is a trans female. So you go ahead and make a comment against uh, trans females, and you, there's, you have no shot. But you know, I would love to know what their positions are. In fact, I would love to hear from a female beauty contestant um, and see what their real opinions are. I would love to have that discussion, but it's just something where you just see and it comes up in your newsfeed and you're just sitting there and you're like, why? Like, why is this happening? I just, it makes no sense. All right, guys, that's enough for me. I'm tired and it's constantly showing up, but hey, if it's constantly showing up, we're gonna keep talking about it. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Stop the madness. Peace.